welcome back to school of civil engineering this is the with another new video actually this is the uh, part 3 part 3 of our pile cap design okay in our previous two lecture i have just shown you that how we'll uh, find out our data that are required to design a pile foundation and also how we'll uh, define our materials properties and in this lecture i'll just show you that how we'll draw our I mean how we'll complete our that uh, pile cap perfectly with respect to that data so if you never you can watch our previous video and also if you think that this channel is helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon now we have to just uh, draw point okay we have to draw some point to define our materials properties so to for that just simply come here draw and that click here draw points okay so what will be the first point our first column uh, I mean our first pile distance okay what will be the first pile distance here from Excel we'll get that here that will be the spacing at each of the footing 0 0.67 then spacing between piles it will be 2.01 okay Two, uh, 0 0.67 and 2.01 so I'll just go here and here I'll just with respect to that point I'll give her in X 0 0.67 and in Y that minus 0 0.67 right so just simply click here and see here that is your one point I've created and here also you have to create a, another point so I'll just simply give her th that is y in plus for upper direction so simply click here and here is our another point okay and here I'll just I'll draw uh, for that point just I'll give that value I'll just change that value actually I'll give her minus okay uh, our point will be in y, y direction from that point to 0 0.67 meter and uh, in negative x means in that direction okay so here I'll just simply click here here is our uh, another point this is our for our corner piles now for that point okay for that point also that will be minus it will be minus so it's okay now we have to draw this is our one pile and we have to draw a pile in our I mean we have to draw our another pile so just simply uh, for y give her 0 and for x just give her our one pile to another pile distance 2.01 okay 2.01 so I'll just give it here 2.01 okay it's done now simply click on it and see here there is our another another pile no for that point also and here in y direction we have to draw another pile so here we'll give 0 and here 2.01 okay simply click here again click here and click here. just see here we have draw wall point we have draw wall point here actually so I'll just close it so our the point to draw our mat foundation or and other things that are ready so I'll just first of all I'll draw now our sorry uh, for our pile cap so I'll draw our pile cap now first of all so to draw our pile cap I'll just simply use that option the rectangular draw rectangular then from here th that is slab okay and properties I'll just select the pile cap okay I'll select pile cap so here the pile cap so from that point to that point simply drag and draw your pile cap so you have draw our pile cap here that is okay now we have to draw our we have to draw our uh, here actually we have to draw our columns I mean uh, sorry we have to draw our pile so from here this is the pile 
okay and actually by using that option we will not draw our pile we have to draw circular pile that's why we will use that option quick draw areas around point okay so around that point we'll use that option so from here slab rectangle rectangular this is not rectangular this is circular and the pile is just selected from pile okay and here give the diameter what is the diameter of our pile diameter of our pile is 0 0.67 so from here give here give here 0 0.67 okay it's done and now simply just click here just see here our pile are drawing perfectly okay here and here it's done so we have draw our pile perfectly now we have to draw our column in that midpoint okay in that midpoint but when we'll draw by using rectangular then from here we have to select column stiff and from here here we have to give our column dimension okay as per that data 0 0.6 but if we draw column here then we will be unable to select that uh, I mean we will be unable to select that pile to define that it is a pile I mean to define its spring properties okay so first of all I will just provide that properties then I will draw our pile okay so for that i'll just close it now simply click that middle point sorry ctrl z and from here press escape to remove your previous command so when it's here then select here, that point okay that point and we have to select all points of our pile midpoint of our pile simply click here click here and click here so it's done and see here here nine point have selected nine point have selected so when we have uh, selected that point now we have to go here define sorry uh, assign then support data here support data then from here point is spring okay we have to select a point is spring just simply click here and from here there have a point is spring is our peer we have to just modify that so from here modify and here okay here we just have to provide that data we have to provide that data right so here oh, we're seeing that it is kilonewton per millimeter okay kilonewton per millimeter actually okay so and here our that spring value is kilonewton per meter kilonewton per meter okay so here is your our data 741 then 0 5 8 and we just change we can just change our that unit okay just cancel then cancel and from here design then design preferences oh, sorry uh, we can assign directly so from here support data then our point is spring so from here modify and we'll just give here the value here is the kilonewton per millimeter squared but here our data is kilonewton per meter so if we we can just change that unit also by clicking here the unit okay so from here we were able to change that data okay from here we can change that this is Newton uh, meter okay so from here you can select that option Newton meter then okay right then click okay and again go here I mean again uh, select that point but you can also use pre-select by clicking here please select and that all point have selected except you know, eight point selected and that point we have to select so nine point have selected now go here assign 
then uh, support data then from here point spring okay now from here modify okay then it's showing us Newton parameter okay it's showing us Newton parameter actually we can also modify that data from here unit constant unit that it's kilo Newton meter okay that is kilo Newton meter then okay then okay then come here assign then support then spring so from here modify and here it's kilo Newton parameter right now we'll just give that data in z linear z direction so what will be the data it's uh, 741058 okay 751 sorry 741 741 058 741058 kilonewton per meter right so after that we will just click here compression only okay this is for compression only and it's done and we'll just click ok and simply click ok now see here we have uh, defined that data for our all portion now we will draw our columns so to draw to draw our column simply click here draw quick area around the point so from here just select column stiff then it will be rectangle and what are the dimension of our column that is 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 that is 0 0.6 also that is 0 0.6 right and after that simply click here and see here there are column have also defined so it's done now I'll just simply close that so just see that our that uh, foundation are totally ready I mean our pile cap with foundation with column that are totally ready actually if we see in 3d so here everything is ready so in our next lecture you know le next lecture i'll just draw our i mean i'll just provide load on it and i will just design and analyze that okay so if you think that that is helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to get every notification ever first <laughs> And also like our video, share our video with your engineer friend and leave a comment because your own comment and your own like inspires for the next work. So thank you. Thank you very much. Stay connected till next video.